Cool. All right, please welcome Jack Benedict. Thank you. I am a good boy. I'm made of dust. That's what it says in the book that they read us on Sundays when we spend our day on the oak bench and only wear the blue masks. Ashes to ashes and dust turns to dust. The boys burn to ashes if they make a fuss, but I'm a good boy. I wash my hands twice and always use the special soap. Keeping me safe from the dust Mother says it's things you can't see, you can't trust and Plastic protects from the little boy's touch The plastic protects from the dust the door and pull tight the blinds and I'm a good boy I keep to myself cause the things that make ashes all come from outside the things that make ashes all come from outside but I'm a good boy I make my bed I put up my clothes and I keep them well pressed I'm a good boy, I set the table, I polish the silver and glass, and always wear my gloves and my dust off cause I'm a good boy mother just like you showed me the day the man rang the doorbell keeping you safe from the dust mother says it's things you can't see you can't trust the plastic protects from the little boy's touch the plastic protects from the dust what it says in the book that they read us on Sundays. So since it's Halloween, I thought I'd start us off with a little toe tapper. We hadn't, we hadn't wrapped anyone in plastic yet this evening. I played a gig actually up in, in down in North Carolina and Andy and Joe came down and played this gig for me. And I played that song after a song that Andy played that was just a stunner. And I'm like, what am I gonna follow this with? So then I played that song and the crowd was like staring at me after I played it. I was like, I'm not the kid, it's just somebody I came up with. open boxes dangling bright strings she ripples and she shakes sputters then evaporates provides my life with all three circus rings she's so quiet 
quiet in the morning light But then awake she flutters and she flies In the rising sun she's gone without a word She flies away Hummingbird Taken away by little things, honey brings her sleep. Planning next November just to forget about next week. Don't you touch those curls, she says, but what do you think is straight? It don't matter much to me, it stops me cold either way. But she's so quiet in the morning light. Wide awake she flutters and she flies In the rising sun, well she's gone without a word She flies away, she flies away It's just like a hummingbird Hummingbird and Cautious in her hurricane It all appears as prison walls Twisted passageways and waterfalls and Canvassing my surfaces She's looking for the cracks and I'll ride her tilt a whirl and wait I'll ride her tilt a whirl and wait For the coming back So quiet in the morning light But wide awake she flutters and she flies In the rising sun I guess she just can't see All the world's hers And it's alright Go ahead and fly Hummingbird Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. Yes. But right now, for the first time ever here, Jim Eddy. Here he is. Uh, thank you. catalog pages said honey you've got to keep earning your wages you ride so late in the evening each day you've got to make sure those cars can see you okay these colors are bold and there's a lot to choose from but the bright yellow captured my eye he said, I'll be the judge, and he viewed all the choices. Red, yellow, white, green, like so many voices. His helmet was red, his shorts white and green. And since the object was to be easily seen, the bright yellow captured his eye. Oh, I'll buy it in person, he said with a sigh, and pedaled on eastward to shop REI. The sales clerk tried closing on a pricey North Face, but he biked for the fitness and not for the race. So the bright yellow became his prize. He settled for the catalog price to avoid all confusion. Put it on in a field filled with dandelion blooms in profusion. 
the sun was now sinking toward the ridge in the west its yellow rays brilliant still warm on his chest it was his favorite moment as night settled in his thighs were on fire his mouth in a grin as the bright yellow captured his eye two miles away an angry man paced along that same ridge top the sun had just graced he wore camouflage gear and a thousand yard stare he surveyed the traffic loaded for bear when the bright yellow caught the corner of his eye now the cars were all moving too fast to take aim and there were none walking at dusk he could maim his life's devolution had turned his heart dark but through his high-powered scope there was time for one mark and the bright yellow became that try now she hoped he had made the purchase and would be coming home soon after all the almanac promised a glimpse of the full yellow moon now the biker seemed tired as he pushed the incline by now it was already quarter past nine when he reached the stoplight halfway up the rise it had just changed from green so caught by surprise the bright yellow captured his eye the trigger man's right hand settled in tight to steady his left hand took all of his might the crosshairs bouncing across heaving chest at the red light the biker had had his short rest but the bright yellow was his demise now he never heard the shot that ended his life the authorities said that his suffering wife could only find solace in the endless recital of a declaration said of a man once so vital the bright yellow captured my eye why did the bright yellow capture your eye oh how i wish the bright yellow had never captured his eye We needed a happy song toward the end of the night. Uh, that could be subtitled, uh, Wearing Bright Colors at Night is Perhaps Not the Bicycle Safety Tip It's Made Out to Be. Uh, okay, this uh, second song is one that uh, was inspired by the first two lines from a William Blake poetry snippet. And I found it odd when I visited London a couple times in the last couple years. I didn't see a lot of mountains there. Perhaps it's a metaphor. You be the judge. It's called Men and Mountains. Well, great things are done when men and mountains meet. This is not done by dancing in the street. That's what William Blake observed as his eternal muse was served. That great things are done when men and mountains meet. Well, there are precious few mountains you can see from London town. The Thames cuts through the center of that level ground. 
So what do you think he meant when he said that momentous things would come to our head? And that great things are done when men and mountains meet. Maybe your highest mountain is found where the ship of your ambition has again run aground. Or in the gathering of the enemy army in the valley below. Or your mountain could be the fear you never could face. That thing that always seems to scratch you from the race as you feel the underutilized potential inside of you grow. Do, 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 do. Pull out your climbing gear and engage that daunting peak. The gauntlet's been thrown and the challenge is what you seek. The time is now, there's no need to wait. Life slips through your fingers while you hesitate. And great things are done when men and mountains meet. Yes, great things are done when men and mountains meet. It's not the mountain ahead that wears you down. No, it's the grain of sand in your shoe that you haul around. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Great. All right. Please welcome back for like the 876th time, I think it is by now. I hope you just keep coming until you're 100 years old, and I hope that I'm still here when you, know you I'm are. Not. <laughs> Here's Dan Hazlett. Thanks. I am the girl who wore your grandma's ring. Since the day I turned 19 Cause that's what all the nice girls used to do I am the girl Who cooked and scrubbed your dishes Bowed down to all your wishes Even though none of my own were coming true I am the girl who bore your firstborn son And after that, another one While you handed out cigars to all your friends I am the girl who tended colds and cuddled fevers Read all the hair Ever afters, though you never tried to get me one of them. Nobody knows the girl who left to run through the green and amber summer with her hair all full of leaves. She shinned down the trellis To the arms of Billy Dare Kissed all night long beneath the eaves I am the girl To whom you never listen Even when the first star glistened as we sat out in the evening on the swing My 
secret heart was miles from here with Billy Dare Felt just like you did not care To ever try and understand a thing Nobody knows The girl who loved to run Through the green and amber summer with her hair all full of leaves Nobody knows How she shinned down the trellis To the arms of Billy Dare Kissed all night long beneath the eaves To my dying from my birth The years went slipping through my fingertips I am the girl Who had no time for acting silly But the memory of my Billy Was the thing that put the last smile on my Thanks. I should mention that's a John Lamb song assignment song. So I was at the Wheatland Music Festival about a year ago, and uh, something tragic and kind of terrible happened to a friend of mine right at the beginning of the festival. And it was really kind of heartbreaking, and, and I knew right away it was going to have to be put into a song, you know. And by the end of the festival, so it's kind of very much like being here. By the end of the festival, with all the hoopla and everything going on, I had, I had written that song and was able to play it for her. And it's a, it's a song of great heartbreak and loss. Hey, Dennis, can I have just a little less guitar on the monitor, please? A smartphone at a festival will help you find your way Has a million functions you can use throughout the day And as every woman knows when the day slips into night One thing those porta Johnnies lack is a working inside light Michelle is cell phone reliant, even on a party trip. She needs that flashlight function. Alas, she lost her grip. Stood in shocked amazement, wondering what to do. She could see it shining bravely through a patch of oozing goo. The cell of Michelle is in the porta potty. After today, her coverage will be spotty. She'll no longer send you selfies that are a bit too naughty. The cell of Michelle is in the porta potty. When she asked them for suggestions, her friends were of no use. For someone made a crack about her mobile phone abuse. They said, hey, let's redefine the term. It's clearly a misnomer. Cause calling in a smartphone don't refer to its owner. Oh. How about if we wait till someone goes inside the job? Then we'll try and call to see if somehow it's still on. 
Maybe we can hack it Get the thing to speak Say stuff like, hey, nice package When some biker takes a lead The cell of Michelle Is in the porta potty After today Her coverage will be spotty You can call her up And invite her to Pilates The cell of Michelle Is in the porta potty Wonder where they'll take it when they clean the potty mess Shouldn't be that hard to track Oops, no GPS She wished that she could pinch herself Find out she'd been dreaming Only consolation At least she wasn't streaming Her calendar photos context gone Heartbreaking to believe it she asked us who was brave enough to reach down and retrieve it I said a phone alone is just not worth the risk to life and limb But I might go if you throw an extra hundred in The cell of Michelle is in the porta potty after today her coverage will be spotty used to do most everything but beam her up scotty the sound of michelle is in the porta potty and it's Stella Ella Ola Lost my Motorola Dingle dangle dearie Hear my drowning Siri Old King Cole is a merry old soul My Nokia's in the dung hole Hey little little cat in the fiddle My Sony's in the piddle And it's hi ho the dairy -o. Skip to the loo in stereo Skip to the loo, skip to the loo Skip to the loo my darling Skip to the loo, skip to the loo Skip to the loo my darling The sad Hey!